so friends, this is my friend Brian. We're at the Mama Cash House, and we're going to talk about some things that are interesting. We're talking about things that happened. This is the gentleman that took the stuff from the colonel's house before they destroyed it, and he created this piece of art, and he's going to tell you a little bit about it, or had it created. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, uh, one of the things that I uh, told all the guys that work with me on dismantling Colonel Parker's home is that you're all archaeologists, and you got to see things differently. And not only are they archaeologists, but ultimately we all become artists. And this is an example of the art that was created. This was created by uh, Mr. Br Brzezinska. And uh, now everything, most everything, I must say, uh, of this, uh, this uh, what do you call these? It's uh, a 3D piece of yeah, art. Uh, comes from the fan club. Right up there, if you look at Elvis's hair, that's the phone wires we found in Colonel Parker's office. We believe that's the phone system through which uh, Elvis, uh, Colonel Parker talked to Ed Sullivan. Now, we have that cathedral arch up there. That symbolizes Elvis's love of gospel music. And we all know his first Grammy was How Great Thou Art. That's kind of why I'm on this mission. Now this marble here, we found four marbles. That marble was uh, found by uh, Mr. Spa Man here. <laughs> and he's the one that taught me how to look for marbles. And- I found an air conditioner. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, that's where he found it. He, he crawls through everything, it's amazing. This uh, Hank Snow letter was something we found or envelope we found in one in the blocks of the fan club building um here once again all-star shows it shows the madison address this is a piece of wood from inside colonel parker's home um now this is interesting this little money clip we found in the closet in colonel parker's former bedroom and it had a very deep shelf, and way at the back of it, I found this money clip. And uh, Judge North, who I, uh, I got the rights to do this from, said it was not his, so we assume it was the Colonel's. And uh, here, this is, wasn't something we found, but it's the poem, Hound of Heaven. And I've always believed the story of Elvis and the story of Johnny Cash have some real parallels to that. A poem called The Hound of Heaven. You may want to look it up. It's one of the most beautiful poems ever written. And uh, so there's so much more. Uh, of course, we have these uh, little peanut, jumbo peanut uh, bag that we found there. Remember, Colonel Parker was a carny. He knew something about elephants. Now, this is the sad part, really, of of his life, and that's, that, that's a, a, a pill... Um, uh, you know, pill uh, container, and this was not his. We did not find this, but it's from that period and represents the challenge he had with opioids. Now, these chips, these represent uh, Colonel Parker's uh, love of gambling. Um, I'm not trying to put down gambling, but it was part of the reality of what, what consumed his life or motivated him. So there's so much more. I could spend an hour talking through this. Up there is the original fan club uh, membership card. And guess what? The original headquarters of the Elvis fan club was Madison, Tennessee. That's why I believe this whole story of Madison, Tennessee, Colonel Parker's office, home, and the fan club building is so important to history. So you did something special with the fan club room, with pieces of the house and the fan club room. Let's go take a look. Okay, great. So friends, we are at the Mama Cash house. You've seen it before. That's Johnny's house over there. If you've watched my videos, you know that we've been here before. And I wanna show you something interesting. This is a photograph of the fan club building before it was torn down, before it was destroyed. So I'm gonna point out some things. You see the bridge back here? Elvis would go across that bridge right there and uh, you could see the concrete down the side you could see the building this was where all the fan club mail 
went to. It physically went to this building and was sorted and, that, and those kinds of things. And if you'll notice, there's four windows here. There's eight smaller windows here. Check this out. Boom. The four windows, the eight windows. Brian brought the pieces of the fan club room here and put them into this wall. And this is really kind of a piece of art like we just saw where they took pieces and created something from it. If you look right here, this was the back door to the main house, and they had this little place here where they would usually have a telephone, which would be unusual for it to be outside, but that's where it was. But I want you to look at that box, but look at this uh, uh, wrought iron door cover. This is it right here. This is the actual door cover. If you see that design, the round design right there and the lock, there it is just like that. And behind that is this door right here. So let's go in and take a look. You want to take a look? Brian? Sure. And of course, what's interesting to me about these two doors is a, is a redundancy in security. Obviously, he knew he had some valuable stuff. And this was the box that the had that phone. telephone box is right. what I would call it. Yeah. yeah. And there's the actual telephone lines, some of them from the uh, from fan the club. Fan club. Mm -hmm. There are really two sets. We have one from his office at the uh, the basement of his home, and and then this from the fan club. Very very important historically in my. Where did this? Let's see, records kept in here oh, next yeah. to the bar. Now this was in in the colonel's basement where he had an office. He had a bar there, so. It wasn't just about work there, it was, it was a hanging out place, and this was right next to the bar, and this would have been where he would have kept his records. So it actually had the record cutouts, and you're exactly right. That, yeah. That, that's made specifically for, for records. For records. You can tell this is all... So you have the bar. Can I have the bar, it? sure. Right. <laughs> so one of the things that he did was he had these poles in there, friends, painted up uh, with the red on it, like carnivals like a carnival post. So this is the bar. This is the actual bar from the Colonel's basement yes. right here. And of course, very vintage. And according to the judge, North, uh, he's seen pictures. I haven't found them yet of the Colonel and Elvis and others hanging out at this bar. Now there's a lot of uh, descriptions of meetings that took place from in newspapers and so forth. That, that's not the question. I'm trying to get as many pictures. Anybody got a picture of them hanging out at this bar? I sure appreciate it. Now, if you come around here, it's really interesting that here it is, that 50s retro look, and then you have this level here in the original sink. So... And I believe that Elvis saw this and liked it and did the same thing at Graceland. Very, very similar thing. Is that the yellow one you're talking about? Right, but now it wasn't originally yellow. Oh, that I was see. The later years it was yellow. Oh, yes. so there was something before. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, in the 50s it was built like that. Yeah. Now this, to me, actually I believe this belongs in the Smithsonian because this was the management system of Colonel Parker. Back then in the 50s, it was all about the phone. Right. And this was the, the operating system that he had at his, in the basement of his main house. And some of this is more modern, of course. This is modern. Some of this is this, modern. This, this is, is modern, old school. But, but this is old. And that's old school up there. Yeah, and that's, that's old school. Old, yeah. That's old school. Yeah. yeah. So this probably came, in fact, I, I think I saw it maybe in the 70s or, or 80s, but yeah. that's all... But it's interesting, I, I, you know, I, when Grayson took all the stuff, they made sure they got all the clothing, beautiful pictures, but the tool Elvis, uh, Colonel used to manage that empire was there, complete, waiting for us to pick it up. Now, sorry we keep going from the fan club back to the house, but in the fan club... There were three rooms, and then the fourth room, a mail room. Three rooms, one, two, three. And that third room had a bathroom and a closet. And this is the doors to the closet. Maybe somebody out there can tell me I what... I would say washcloths. Oh, Maybe. Man. okay. Maybe. So, so these two doors, and it was divided, 
and inside was was knotty pine, beautiful, uh, and so he could very well have had gorgeous outfits hanging in there as well. Now this a gate is actually from the fan club. There was two of those doors right there. Two of that these were like at the, that fan, on the club. fan club. That's right. right. Two doors going into the fan club, and and that, they actually had a a uh, screen bolted yeah, on this thing, right? To, so they could open the doors, right? Yeah. And what I liked about it is, to me, this this looks like a harp. It does. It's very it has musical, a musical looking. looking, right? So uh, now this something you know, I just I just brought this over today. You don't have a knife, do you? I always have a knife. Okay. This was, um, this was, wouldn't it be something if I cut myself? Don't and cut it, yourself. It adds to the drama, the whole moment. <laughs> so, anyway, in the fan club building, there, see, but this is how we wrapped everything. This is how we know, you know. They months, marked it where it came from and sealed it up. Yep. Everything. Everything. Okay. So this was in the fan club building in the bathroom, okay? And, oh my goodness. Okay, it now, opens from this side. Okay. And what's really interesting, whoops. There's oh, coffee cups. Oh my goodness. I, oh, well, that's ain't <laughs> vintage. But see here, this is where all the razor blades went. So when we opened up the back wall, we found probably 50 razor blades. Look Where at they would shave and drop the, razor, the old razor blades right. through the old style, the flat ones. I don't know if these are old, but anyway, they're cool. And uh, so anyway, this is what we found. And there's one of those from every bathroom. Yeah, so we have actually, now the one in Colonel's home room had a big lights on either side, much bigger. And then the bathroom Elvis used in the main house had a light above it. Right. And we have all of those. But this really goes with the fan club, okay? So, um, now, something else I think you might be interested this in. This is the kernel. Let's look at this. Yeah. So, look at this carpet, friends. This is the corner right here in the fan club room that that famous picture right there was made at. That's right. And that's the actual corner right there behind it. And right. this is the carpet. Look at the carpet below his feet. This is some of the carpet. So right. that was a black and white photo right there. Yeah. But that right there shows you what it actually looked like. But if you do a close up of this, you see that carpet there. There it is. Now, right before he had his desk over here when he was in that picture, I believe, but then he moved it right under that, uh, what's behind you there. Mm -hmm. And so right. So let's let's look at that then real quick. So let's look over here. Yeah. You see the wall. You see the pine. He's actually lined it up where this picture frame. If you watch some of my videos, you've probably seen this before. But that picture frame lines up with that square. Right. And the back of Elvis's head lines up right there. And this. But something interesting. Look. You see this blind right here. That blind has little knots and stuff on it. Check this out. It is right here. This is the blind from the actual, remember the eight windows outside. There it is, look. There's the knots in it. That's the actual blind that's behind him in that photograph. He's got incredible stuff in here, yeah. friends. Now, just so you know, that little knot there is right here. Those two knots are here. And then this knot right here is right there. Now there's a color photo that it's is wider, wider that. and that'll show you these knots. So, I mean, the chance that this is wrong is one out of a billion or whatever. It can't be. Yeah, it can't be. Well, I don't know, in science, anything can be. You can make something out of nothing. Yeah, you know? that's true. Yeah. So, now, I would like... This is a challenge for you, friends. Look at this coat right here. Yeah. Now, look at this coat right here. Now, this coat I got from somebody that I know for a fact, knew Johnny Cash. Elvis is, I mean, Johnny Cash is drummer. Drummer, right. And what is his name? And his name Holland. is, uh, uh, my mind just went, his, his last name's Holland. Yeah, but his but nickname. But he goes by a nickname. Uh, Sally. <laughs> Fluke. 
fluke. He's That's a right, good friend of mine. Holland. That's why I can't think of it to save my life either. Yeah. So now I have studied it's this. W.S. Holland. They call yeah. him fluke. He's a wonderful man. And I've been studying this and studying it. It doesn't quite match that coat. However, the, I'm convinced, obviously, because he got it from Elvis at a Cadillac dealer, that he must have had more than one. Or it's the age, the, maybe they recut, you know what I mean? Maybe there's just something optically that I'm missing. But I would love you to match this out there. And anybody that calls me first documents it on an email with a date. A photograph. And, and a, a photograph date. that can match this will receive, uh, uh, what can I give them? Something really good. Something really good, including five bricks from Elvis, uh, the Colonel's house, and a tile from, uh, this beautiful tile from his bathroom, okay? Yeah. In fact... Friends, thank you so much for watching. This is part one of two. If this just came out, it will be a few days and part two will come out. If it's been out a while, wait till the end right here and click on the link to part two. Thank you so much for watching. Tighten up every chance you get. Brian tightened up and got this stuff from the Colonel's house.